Thank you, and good morning to you all. It's a pleasure to be here and to hear that wonderful group. What, what a, how delightful to see them, and as you were uh, seeing them walk out, thinking with this kind of mentorship, with this kind of support, they will be able to, whatever community they go, hopefully they will find a, a, a music home for themselves in, in their communities, and that's what you know, we're here celebrating um, today. So I'm honored to be um, on the Kennedy Center board, also a member of the Arts Caucus, as was mentioned, and also was able to start an Arts Caucus in Virginia. You know, we know our founding fathers were patrons of the arts and understood what an important part of our education it is. Now, it's estimated that there are over 100,000 musicians that perform in approximately 1,600 orchestras throughout the country. So one of the things there that I know from supporting my own local orchestra in McLean, um, Virginia, where I live, just over the river, is that our uh, protecting our charitable uh, status, uh, a tax giving status, helps many orchestras in our country because most of them are organized as 501c3 tax exempt organizations. And it's also a great way that we as a community, you know, any community, wherever you are, can give back and become part of something local. Um, I'm also privileged to have the Wolf Trap Center for Performing Arts in my district. And one of the things that we were able to do when I was in the State House was to utilize that art center for uh, STEAM education. You know, so it's uh, not just you know, STEM and the science, but also understand the arts works together and be able to have model programs that now they are modeling throughout the country and I believe throughout the world. So this is something we want to, you know, saw young people here, we want to catch them even younger in the arts. Um, so we do know we are going to have some challenges on that front uh, coming up, I imagine, but I've um, always been supportive of that. And just uh, last Congress, we supported equitable access to the arts education in the education um, bill that we um, reauthorized, um, where the bill sets aside approximately 30 million to high-risk schools so they could develop an arts program. You know, those have been somewhat in decline and we wanted to make sure that we could um, reinvigorate that. Now, we also, um, you know, when you have these um, local orchestras and, and local arts groups, local um, music groups, you end up really providing so much support for your youth orchestra, too, and mentoring. And they see people who are engaged. I know in our lo local orchestra, we have a conductor who not only is the conductor for the McLean Orchestra, she travels all around the country and even all around the world. So she brings back all of her experiences and then works with her, her local artists who uh, range from you know, professional musicians who are part of this to doctors and lawyers and you know, moms at home who are sort of getting back into um, the field in, in that way. And I'm always amazed when I go to our, our local concerts to see the variety of people who are in that program and then the quality of our youth orchestras because they are part of this and that's a big part of their program and they understand the community support that's going to be there for them. So I really ap appreciate uh, the opportunity to be here. It's really something I think that is a lifelong um, part of the learning process and that the passion that is brought to all of you who are supporters of the arts and transmitted throughout our communities and transmitted uh, back to our children is a very important um, part of the heritage that we can pass on that's, that's part of our country. And that's why I'm so privileged to be part of the Kennedy Center and, and, and many of my uh, local arts groups in order to continue that effort. So thank you for being here today and enjoy uh, your day and thank you for your support and patronage of the arts.